Let's jump into war here with part 33 of my Europa Universalis 4 Let's Play campaign as France. Alright, so previously, we're working on trying to get Kilwa as a vassal. I just need to wait for the aggressive expansion to go down just a little bit, which will happen in December this year. And we've been expanding in America. Uh, where are we fighting at the moment? Fox. Okay, yeah, I just declared war on them. Man, these treasure fleets are coming hard and fast at the moment. Let's see, we're gonna go over here and just clear out these these Sunni zealots. Sounds good. We're gaining a decent amount of manpower per month now as well, which is good to see. Alright, we're, we're good here. They can go around cleaning the stuff up themselves now. It's only for Barcelona, so I'll just go with this. I don't want I don't want them to hate me. It's good. Skills of the Queen. It's not bad there. Okay, so that's just about done. I'm sure things will pick up in a moment. We're just, um... We came off a lot of, a lot of really small wars last time. What the hell? Occupied by the Iroquois, right. Why, why is that occupied by the Iroquois? Are you at war with them? Oh, no, I'm at war with them. Man, I can't remember who I'm going to war with sometimes. I just just declare war and be like, no one can take me on. Too arrogant. The thing is, I'll get like super arrogant and then we'll start a new campaign and be like, ha, no one can take me on. Oh wait, I'm not I'm not OP nation anymore. I have to go back to being humble. You got to be very humble at the beginning, and then as you get super powerful, then you can be like, fuck you. What are you gonna do to me? We'll have control of Africa fairly soon, I think. At least southern part of Africa. And then we work our way up through Islamic Africa. Attack the Ottomans from multiple sides. There's also Russia. Ru if Russia could help... I don't know if I really want Russia's help. I don't know if it would get done in this campaign. There's 230-something years left. No, it's 223 years left. Shit, I need to get that going right now. Am I still fabricating claims here? Don't bother with that. We're, we're done. So I've got a claim in by Gaio. Next up is... Pure... Pure Lank, whatever. Ah, uh, they've recently expanded into um, Singapore-ish area here. Okay, for the time being, you're done. And as was the plan before, we're going after Scotland, which I still have a few claims left. I think they're about to expire. Okay, we just hit the next year. Okay, cool. If I send them a gift now, everything's going to be fine. 
We just need this war here to end. Oh, we could actually go up quite a fair distance up this way. So you're occupying. So our new merchant was at uh, the Panama Canal. Well, it's not really the Panama Canal right now. 519. Uh, 5 That's pretty good. That's enough to pay for... The, almost the entirety of my fort maintenance. Oh man, I've got too many colonies. Whoops. Oh well. Some of them will end soon. Still just making an absolute killing. Just out of curiosity, we don't have any more to claim with them. No, we're, we're done. For the time being. In fact, we might be able to take all of this. I need to just stay there. Because that can now be incorporated this way. Good, good to get rid of the Iroquois completely. They're one of the stronger Native Americans. Which, you know, that probably seems like it's giving them more credit than they deserve. They're still completely weak. Are there any colonies that I have forgotten about? There's no more colonies out here or anything? Nope. So, adding up all the colonies... Alright, where is this? Alright, well, I'll help them sort that out. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 colonies in total. Sorry, 12 colonies that you can get in total. That means 12 merchants once you get them to size 10 not to mention you can get more merchants when doing the uh, the charters which will work towards as well i think though what i really needed to do was just give them one settlement in each of these not like all of them so i don't know i, I need to think about that i haven't i haven't dealt with doing uh, east india companies before Yeah, so they've, they've got a bit of a stability problem over here, but that's, that is largely because I forced them to convert. I could have handled it a lot easier, but I just wanted to get on with it. I mean, the liberty desire is going to go down. Claim. So we finished with Madrid, right? Yep. Okay, the three claims there for for them. Then we need Cadiz. If we get Cadiz, actually, I needed this one for myself anyway, because otherwise we can't claim that for them later down the track. And then that's it. That's all we need to claim on them until the next war. There's no way they'll recover between now and then. Hmm, let's have a look here. Fifty ducats, or ducats, or twenty diplomatic power. I think I prefer the diplomatic power because I don't, I don't need money. I can't buy those powers. When's the next technology ready? Not for ages, so let's work on developing something. Let's chuck some stuff in London.
Oh shit, I'm spinning way too much in there. Well, we got a new fucker over here. If I just declare war on them now, that easily beat them, but thinking ahead, we've, we've got other things to do. Okay, this is all done. Get a separate piece with these guys here. Okay, so just transfer all of this over to America. Hang on, let me just double check to make sure it's not supposed to go to Canada. Nope, it's supposed to go to USA. United Slaves of America. But legend, France is all about liberty. Not my France. So we need to actually let that sit for like, just a little bit longer. They've still got troops up this way, so if we were to defeat them, that'd give us enough uh, war score to finish them off. I'd just, I'd just rather not go to war with them again. It's got to be mindful that um, come the next year, uh, it shouldn't actually decrease this any because the aggressive expansion is going down faster than the improved relation. But what are we going to do with this improved relations? So, yep, you're doing that. Still got this one over here we need to conquer. I think I might as well just hand it over to them. That should be pretty quick. guys up over here. Yeah, still still says Iroquois military strength minus twenty. While they while they've got those forces, they feel like they can t um, that this is unreasonable. is about to enter the 17th century. Okay, it says it's at 100%. So yeah, they're willing to accept now. There's, they just feel completely defeated. Separate piece of them out. Good, that hands up straight over to the United States of slaves. France can't make it a core. Well, what about... Hang on, where does it go? This is all Louisiana. If I hand it over to them, they should be able to make it all core. Ah, oh, I see. Louisiana, Louisiana. And this was controlled by France. I see what happened here. It's also funny how they don't actually put like any independent states in Australia for like the Aboriginals. And I mean that's funny as in that's pretty historically accurate. <laughs> okay, no one's gonna care. Nice, Louisiana. 
It might take them a while to uh, to core all that, but that'll that'll keep them busy for a while. Now, you have something I want. Your asshole. Let's pucker up. Get ready to insert myself into it. Well, first thing I have to do is I have to give them a gift. Well, they're not going to accept it. Okay, we just got ourselves another another merchant. That must have come from Louisiana, because they just grew at like four settlements. Where are we going next? I got a fair amount of of um, clout here in uh, <laughs> in Brazil, but there's not much cash going in or out. Not yet. They will eventually. We had no influence out here. What about in fucking Australia? 50% there. Yeah, but there's no money to be had, so just ignore that. There's a fair bit of money here, so why don't we collect from it? Probably won't make that much right now. We'll have to go and actually take some more territory. Uh, that's going to have to be dealt with. Because that is not owned by a colony. Alright, gift up first. Okay, good. Alright, I need to get my forces over... Oh, I've got my forces here. Get your ass down over here. The queen has tragically died. Oh well. Actually, you'll stay here because we're going to go to war with Sephalos. Are we? Yeah, we will. Let me just check. Yeah, Safala will join in. She wasn't a bad queen. Oh, he's 60 years old, just about. Oh, I don't want him to die. Can't he take an elixir of life from the Fountain of Youth? So, I guess the region over here that I thought belonged to them actually didn't. East Indian trade route. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get rid of them. What's this? The discovery of the East Indian trade route has ushered in the age of the spice trade. With new trade routes available, controlling the flow of spices like pepper or cinnamon has become more important than ever. So, price of spices increased by 50%, gain three quarters of a thousand ducats, and one prestige, essentially. Okay, and now that that's done... I kept saying we're going to go to war with um, Scotland. So, yeah, we're going to go to war with Scotland. The vassalage has been done. Because if I don't do this now, I'm just never going to bloody do it. I can't get around to it. But I'm also going to do this simultaneously as well. At, well, I was going to do Congo as well, but I'm a bit busy. Okay. 
Okay, we've got these two. Batak, what can be next? Um, did I already get it? Oh, there it is. Yeah. So many regions in this game, which I like. This is, you just don't get enough time to like conquer it all, really. And to think this here still isn't even probably as large as the Spanish Empire was at its maximum. Not yet. Not, maybe not even in accordance with, like, the time frame. Spain was goddamn huge. And Britain was even bigger. But they did so, like, in the 19th century. Um, what are we doing? That's right, we're going to war with Scotland first. I think they're too busy to, to worry about us. Reinforcements, they can just take their time coming in. Finally got him. Good, get your ass back here. But we're with New Scotland, but they're uh, occupied by Denmark, so we're not getting any of that. Unless we go to war with Denmark as well. I think we can split our forces here. Sind like all the no Sind is over here. There. Go with that. Okay, we're in position over here. Okay, so there's five cores to retake from them. How many do we get from over here? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, quite a lot of cores to do. You should really make your way down here. Meet up with them. Yeah, so make them co-belligerents. Let's do this. What I could do here, because that's going to take a long time to to do. What I could do is go into church power, we're already there, and switch switch this to missionary power when we're actually about to do it, because that'll speed things up. Yep. Yep, it'll get done in time. So I don't care about Tuscany's opinion of me, and I could use the... Well, it's pretty expensive, but I could use the um, professionalism. We're almost at 20%. No, sorry, 40%. I hope things pick up a little bit faster. I haven't been drilling or anything, because everyone's fucking busy. Busy winning wars. Getting tired of winning. You know how it is. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Go. Uh, whatever, keep going north.
I mean, this... I don't need a diplomatic insult cast as belly on them, so I'll just go for that. So what's going on over here? At war with Bosnia, Hungary, and Augsburg. And... Says here that the Ottomans are winning. Hmm. I want to read this. So pirates are a constant scourge of our merchants, and successfully detaining them is usually a great victory, not only for us, but for our trade partners as well. A most recent capture of a supposed pirate, um, on the other hand, has turned into a diplomatic incident, as he claims to have been raiding ships on behalf of one of our own colonial subjects. The captain has presented a letter of Marquis, uh, issued in the name of the Emperor, but by a colonial governor. Supposedly, any aggression against us was a tragic misunderstanding. Desperately trying to avoid the gallows, the captain implores us to settle the matter with the governor. Sure. I mean, sometimes you got to give your uh, your. If you give someone authority and they utilize their authority, if this, I don't know, whatever. Just the effects of that one is not as bad as the other one. I mean, really, I would consider the the colonies to be an extension of the empire. And if you treat them, this is part of the reason why the Americans revolted. If you treat them like they're second-class citizens, they'll feel like second-class citizens, and then they'll fucking revolt. No, you go away. I want to take these guys over to the Congo. Where's my fleet? Didn't I put it over here? Yeah. Bring them over this way to blockade ports. Oh yeah, should I, should I make, what's their face called? Kilwa, should I make them enforce religion? They have no legitimacy. How much money are they making for us? Well, it's not really just about the money. Do it. The sooner we do it, the sooner it goes down over time. I think I got you there. Now, should I hire another general? When is this available again? 1605. So five more years. This only lasts ten years. Alright, that's fine. And we got a pretty shitty general. Well, whatever. It's pretty random. Sometimes we get a good one. Sort of like what I said at the beginning. You know, we got a lot of luck at the beginning, and then at the end of this, we're just not really getting that much luck. With some of these things. Try and get to that fucking uh, settlement there. I've had it for like 10 years. At least 10 years. Alright, so... This region here... 
falls squarely under North America's. It actually crosses here and there. It, it doesn't really matter. Build a spy network there so we can attack it. Is over here needs to be dealt with. Plus, there's the um, the Adjuran nobles also needing to be dealt with. Good, they got wiped out. So Scotland should be looking for peace fairly soon. Oh, it's for 10 years. That's okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no. Well, that's awful. I can't just cancel any of those either. I actually lowered the number of diplomatic relations I can have. If I was going to ditch one of them, it'd have to be um, Hungary. I've built up loads of trust with them as well, like loads of favors. That's gonna be for 10 fucking years. If we add that up, one extra diplomatic point over the course of 10 years, that's 120. God damn it. What I'll do is the next guy that comes into power here, I'll put it in plus four, and if he, if he runs for um, ten years, it'll basically make up for it, but I can't justify cancelling any of those agreements. Not unless the royal marriage with Hungary ends. I can't do anything about it. Because it would just cost me stability if I did. Are you... F don't they have enough fucking influence? It's for 15 years as well. Okay, sort support ends 1605. I'm getting some bad luck here. Well, that's gone away, so since that's done in like. So I just leave it there. And we'll just ignore it. It'll eventually just go, but it'll give us a few months of not having to worry about it. Denmark must have gotten a piece out. Yep, we'll take that. Truce with Castile has ended. Where's my army? Probably not paying as much attention over here as I should. Hold 
Scotland joins the Republic, whatever. Okay, Scotland's at 99%. Let's see what we can get out of this. Yeah, they don't trust me at all. Concede Eastern America. It's all these territories. It doesn't take any diplomatic points for us, and I'll just be handed straight over to America. I'll take the money. Is we get everything we want. And more, really. I didn't expect to get that stuff. How much aggressive expansion is that? No one really cares. This is, if you add all of those up together, that adds up to diddly squat. But what a fucking... It's turned into Swiss cheese. That castle's belly will, I mean that, we'll put that claim on over here. Might as they do that for this guy on his way back. Oh, they're going off into their territory, that's fine. Alright, is 15,000 men enough to take on the Congo? I don't know. Let's go find if there's any other stragglers around anyway. Well, the war over here is over, so... If you come down here, we'll pick them up. Send them over to... Africa. We're trading in slaves now, so that increased our production efficiency. So money should be going through the roof. Agreements. Okay, um, let's see what's next. Still way ahead of schedule there. Alright, let's put in some claims out here. So they're allied to Memmingen and, and Tuscany. So we can certainly take Tuscany and put them into Naples. And this one here is also to go to Naples. So Delhi is next. We're certainly going to have to wait until this other war is over in order to get everything, because I don't want to have multiple wars for this. We should be able to take it all in one go. Alright, another thing I'll do, I think I'll just get on with this, get started, because I just don't think they're going to be very strong. And I'll recruit some more units. So there's some sort of republic going on over there. So all of the all of the Scottish colonies have now been taken by us. That's hilarious. Thanks for uh, boosting our efforts over here. Didn't cost us a fucking thing. 
Oh god damn it. Sitting there with her for extension for months. Uh, we forgot to take this um, this island here. If we take that out, we can get rid of their fleet as well. the effect. Oh, that's global, global tariffs, not production. Still, that, that would have been quite a lot of extra money. I'm sure the, the slaves things will come back. We just need to get ourselves a few more. It must have been just hovering over the required amount. So where did this happen? Where did it happen? There's colonialism, there's the renaissance, there's printing press. Oh no, don't tell me it happened over here. There. Now. Do you know how long that's going to take to get to us? Actually, it might not take that long. As you can see here... Well, I, I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll see in this subsequent months slash years. Yeah, Louisiana, we can tax them. Oh fuck, they took Mombasa back. But that's all going reasonably be. Well, cool. Keep it going. It's like these guys don't even have any forces. Age of Reformation is about to end. Which is fine, to be honest, I didn't really care much for this age. Now, we've got another colonist here, I didn't even realise it. So, where are we gonna... That colony over there. California will get going soon. We've still got Alaska to do. But we've almost got a colony in every one of the colonial zones.
Join the Republic of the Netherlands, huh? So what, that they come like some sort of other minor Holy Roman Empire or something? I don't know. Okay, so these guys here, I don't need them in Scotland for probably 15 to 20 years. Let's get them out of here. Get them somewhere where we're going to actually be fighting. Maybe Italy? Sardinia? We'll see. Alright, I gotta spend my stuff because this is sabbatical over. So I'll say that, that one there is done. And then we'll work on this one here. It'd be good if we can get the prosperity up first. So I'm not gonna work on it just yet. Oh yeah, the, the thing clicked off and I didn't even notice. Did it just disappear without me even... It just disappeared. Like, well, he's not going to click it. Good, I guess. Rwanda. Still a few areas out here we should explore. Back under our control. This this war over here is a bit of a mess. Okay, time for Creek. I don't really care where these go. Fabricated claim on wherever. Oh, we got a truce with them? Okay, good. I'm glad to let me know. Didn't realize we did. Well, the truce will end at some point and then we'll go and kill them. Okay, another colony finished, but no colonists on that one. How are we going for a colony? It's still costing a lot, so just let it go. Uh, is that why it costs so much? Yeah, because it's being colonized by fucking from Scotland. That's fine. I can afford it. The hell are they? So that's got to do with the Congo, right? Fucking money. Let's have a go with this. It'll increase our um, loyalty over here. I don't want to do that. I don't want to d decrease my mercantilism, but. We do what we got to do. Okay, I feel like... Who, who's this here? That is the Tuscan army. I feel like building a spy network here might not work. Because they might just get absorbed soon. But I guess we'll see. Let's 
Good to get that cash. Not cash, what am I talking about? The uh, extra settlers. Which essentially is cash. Alright. Let's see what we can get out of this, because I'm not looking for a long war and I can't see the real bothering keep going that way, especially since all of our claims are met here. Just for a bit of extra cash is no big deal. And now we can finally core all of it in due time. No, no, we can right now. Okay, good. Core, 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 core. Oh, overextension. Okay. At least we didn't go over 100, but because that's when shit really hits the fan. Oh, we haven't had a rebel uprising in a while. So, is this Sunni rebels? Sunni zealots? Hang on, let me just check here. Where is it? Rebel factions. Sunni zealots. Where, though? So, Melilia, Marrakesh, Futajalon. That's this area here. Futajalon, where's that? Done. Okay, all good there. Shouldn't be too long until some of these are is done. It might have been better better to have dragged out that war with the Congo for as long as possible because this is a lot of overextension. Ah, uh, we got caught over there. Oh well, that happens. Maybe just don't bother about it anymore. That'll just have to do for the time being. I think we got four. This takes 333 months. Ah, uh, whatever. Just get on with it. I did say I'd uh, increase the... Um, well... I guess if we're going to do that, let's spend the stuff now. Why is that costing 50? Coastline. Right, okay. We, I guess we just don't develop this too much then. Okay, that one's done. Pretty much going to spend all of my points here. Why am I doing this again? There was a reason behind it. Oh, that's right, that's right. And a few more military points, because I'm not likely you're going to spend them. Okay. Yeah, because the, the next technologies is ages away. It's not like this doesn't recover really fucking fast. So now we're going to here. Take this out, because I'm not going to use it again for a while. And put it into missionary strength. That should speed up Fez considerably. Now, it went up from... 0 0.3 to 1.3 so now it says it's only going to take a couple of years to finish as opposed to like several decades
Yeah, we got him there. Just need to go explore. So looking at this, they're losing both walls. They're closer to losing the Timbuktu Rwanda wall. Sorry, Timbuka. Twin, whatever the fuck it is. Where is Rwanda? That's them. I wouldn't have any cats as bellies against them to try and lift all these sieges. Lift all their occupations. We could just gotta wait for them to accept the peace treaty. And then I go in and finish the job. Do I declare one of the Inca? Oh yeah, pretty soon. Okay, let's, let's go do that. Although I think Colombia and Peru should be able to do it on their own. I'll send some assistance. So next up, what's it gonna be? Hungary's looking a bit Fucked. Looks like the Ottomans have got the upper hand there. I could have come in to save them, but I didn't want to fight the Ottomans. Which, I don't know, might have... Act we have a look at this. If we had sent in, say, 20,000, 30,000 men and defeated an Ottoman army in battle, can I still... I don't know. I don't know. Could have slowed them down, maybe. So what am I going to do with these other ones? Well, they're, they're gone. Who are these guys allied to? Allied to Brunei and Paria. Okay, so why don't we start pressing some claims here? And I probably wouldn't get that much. Let's finish with that island first. Right, I want you to come back over here because I'm going to give just declare war on them because they they got nothing. Oh, actually, no, they don't. They've got uh, allied to Sakalava. Now we just wait. I'm guessing these guys here aren't getting what they want out of it. University. If we built that, why does it give me the choice to build it if we haven't researched it yet? It's a bit weird. Maybe it's because I have one in my territory somewhere. Maybe Scotland built one. The fuck happened here? No, 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 we gotta negotiate with, with them. Okay, we've got to occupy more of them. That's not enough. Hang on. Right, let's keep going. 
So yeah, they've been torn to pieces. Kill well, we'll get a lot of its territory back. Though, I just need to actually occupy it. Ugh, Roman fever. That sucks. I still don't get it. Why is praying better than quarantine? Ugh, pray. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys, because that's an hour. So like, subscribe, part 20, uh, 34 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.